let me just comment on this when it comes to Mayor Brandon Johnson, because we see what's happening to the mayor of New York, uh, Mayor Eric Adams. And I don't know if it's specifically these black mayors, particularly black men mayors. I think, well, you know, I think Mayor Brandon Johnson, he's not answering to the governor. He's answering to the Biden administration. And if he does not fall in line, he knows he won't be on that chopping board like Mayor Eric Adams. He doesn't push back against the federal government. Mayor Eric Adams kind of did because he knew that the migrant crisis in New York City literally is breaking the city. That city is broken. Same things happen in Chicago. But Brenda, I, I, at least I haven't seen it. He has not once criticized this administration, but he knows that he cannot because he will be in the same situation with these federal indictments as Mayor Eric Adams. So he's he's the token Negro puppet that's going to, you know, stay in line and push their um, agenda, which is important for Chicago, not even a state, but just that city Chicago to go red. Cause if Chicago goes red, so good. So does, I think Illinois, definitely. Um, one last question I want to ask you ladies. Um, are black women is two parts. Are black women ready to vote for a black woman president? Um, and do you think black women are ready to vote for Kamala Harris. Kamala Harris ain't black. There, but there are black people, particularly black women, that say she is. Aside from Kamala Harris, are black women ready to vote for a black woman president? Answer that first. Um, if she's a foundational black American, okay. and if she's, yes. in touch with, if she's in touch with the black community, the issues of the black community, the history of black people in this country, if she's that type of black woman, I can vote for her. But other than that, no, I wouldn't vote for her or anyone else who cannot relate to what we've gone through in this country. Uh, if she qualified, yeah. You know, we would be team Kamala if she was qualified. Um, you know, I think that we have to move away from these identity policies. Um, in the city of Chicago, we have the most black elected officials of any place in the country. OK, so we have been under black female leadership. Uh, we got a black Cook County board president. We got a black uh, president of the water reclamation. We got a we have a black mayor, a black female mayor. So this black female leadership is not new for us. Um, I think that black women trust each other enough to know that we are capable to do whatever job that we're going to put forth. But that woman also cannot be compromised. Right. Kamala, even if she is a Negro, like to Ms. Doris's point, you got to be Negro centric. You got to be America first. You got to be talking about the issues that we need. But I'm not going to vote for you because you use a pressing cone. No, I, I don't care about that. That doesn't impress me. And that's not going to help push any policies to help me and my baby. Right. Um, Miss Jackson. Can you hear me? It's just but good, some, I think no. I think she froze. Oh. Can you hear us? I don't know. Um oh she's freezing. Uh, you freezing up. All right, let me um oh, Tony Predwinkle is black. Lori Lo Lori Lightfoot was is black, but they didn't give a damn about the black community. <laughs> yes. Tony Predwinkle could help Jessica with her mother's property, but she's mm -hmm. not doing anything. All these black people in positions of so-called power down there, they could help her tomorrow, but they're scared of white people. These Negroes are scared of white people. Yeah, that's, and that's what I'm getting at. So when I say it's not so much vote because she's a black woman, why vote? I, I don't think, I don't think black women are, um, are qualified. Kamala's definitely not qualified, but Kamala's not qualified. Black women are not qualified. Let's just say to be president or to even be in a lot of positions that there are now because they don't 
do anything for black people. They, they are puppets. Um, they're doing the opposite. They are putting illegal migrants, um, the LGBTQ agenda. They don't even, they are <laughs> even <laughs> say the word reparations. Gotta stop calling them migrants. They are not migrants. Our ancestors, Miss Doris is a migrant. When she left Mississippi- No, no, no I'm not a migrant. I'm a descendant of enslaved Africans. No, 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 no ma'am, let me finish. No, 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 illegal no, migrant. No, 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 let me finish. A, a, a migrant is a citizen. We learned this in fourth grade. A migrant is a oh, yeah. citizen. That's somebody who moves from one portion one. of the country to another mm -hmm. portion of a country for economic reasons or to improve their lives. An immigrant- In that same country. Um, in that same country. An immigrant comes from outside the country, which is why when Ms. Doris and our grandparents came up here, it was called the Great Migration because they yep. were migrating from the South to the North. These people are immigrants. And that's the thing, y'all. They use our language to he validate them. Immigrants. You're right. Yeah. And that's why we got to stop saying that because they will think, oh, well, black people migrated to the uh, to the north. Well, these people are migrating, too. And we not the same. We are not kin. We are not peers. We have nothing to do with them. So we got to keep those lines very crisp so that there is no overlap. That's all I'm saying. OK. And the, and the Democratic Party is the one who coined that migrant. They did. And the Democratic Party is the one who started to compare them to us. How dare you? Mm -hmm. How dare they do? You can't compare those people to us. They walked across that damn border free of on their own free will because Joe Biden told them to come here. Right. I want to give Ms. Um, Ms. Jessica your thoughts. Um, did you hear the question, black women, which can you, are, are black women ready for a black woman president? Yeah, I heard the question, but I'm not going to get jumped on by your chat in the audience because <laughs> I don't, you know, hey. I, I, yeah, I'm not getting jumped on by your chat in the audience. I'm going to let y'all have that. Oh, I got your back, Jessica. They can jump on your back. <laughs> I, got your, I got your back. I got your yeah, back. I, I, and as, a, as an 80 year old woman, I hope people who are listening to us will listen to me. This is serious. We are in trouble in this country. They are here to run us off the land, take our property, take our job, everything from us. These people are these people. Are, these people don't care about our struggle. They're here to get what we have. They don't care how they get it. And this was the doing of the Democratic Party, not the Republicans. I they can't put Jessica this guy on Donald Trump. Well, what what would you want to say, Miss Jessica? <laughs> They ain't afraid to try to get me in trouble. Well, this is my thing. You know, um, I think that first of all, as it pertains to Chicago and politics, personally, I think all of it needs to be uprooted from the inside out. I don't think none of these people that's been in office since forever, all these people that got the connections of 50 years here, 40 years there, it has done nothing but made a mess of this city at this point. I think a whole lot of new things need to happen. Now, the second part of your question, as it pertains to a woman uh, leadership, you know, I get it in terms of it's this new thing, especially with the Democratic Party that's saying things like, you know, the black woman is the backbone of the uh, Democratic Party and all this and that. But if we be honest, if we be honest, all this black woman leadership has not done well it just hasn't now i'm not saying that black men or white men have done better or perfect i'm not saying that i'm just answering your question if you look at our communities and they say that what 70 75 percent of our households are led by black women and you look at the condition of our families the condition of our schools the condition of our children can we say that black women make good leaders now, I'm not saying that black men don't mess up, too. Look at Brandon Johnson. Look at Eric Adams. 
and the list goes on and on in that. Look at Richard Daly and those, but I will say to vote for anybody because they a black woman. No, they need to be qualified. They need to have uh, a certain type of resume, I guess. They need to be foundational black, all those type of things. But to just run around supporting women just because they a woman, just because they a black woman. No, I don't. Uh, I don't subscribe to that. I think people need to be qualified for their jobs. Whatever that uh, race is, whatever that gender is, I think you need to be qualified for your job. Yeah. No, that's well said. Um, all right. So, I don't want to see the chat. I know they probably going on. <laughs> so, and a lot of people, they're on the same page, but. Um, I just want to say thank you, ladies, for coming on. I pinned P Ray's GoFundMe in the chat, and I'm gonna put it in the description as well. And I'm also put in the description when I clip this and do the uploads. Um, donate to P Ray GoFundMe because um, your house, you know, um, got caught on fire, electrical fire, and you know that's devastating, and that's a, a big inconvenience. You have a child. So, and first of all, Miss Thing, you need to up that that dollar amount. Um, it's a little bit too low. <laughs> so what I'm telling everybody as a birthday present to um, P Ray, click click her GoFundMe. You know, but her situation is serious. You know, and donate because every little bit helps. Um, in the meantime, in between time, we need some help. The building, we're in units. It's 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 a lot. Please help me. That's what I'll say. Um, as I shared before, I think that this was some juju that happened to me because all of my broadcasting stuff burned to a crisp. I mean, oh my, my, oh my, my, my ring light, the uh, chair that I sit in burned up, the laptop burned up. Um, so somebody sent me some energy, but they missed and just burned up my stuff um so yeah we got to get this keep it moving uh even with that you know i came to my mom's house i took my shower washed the slit stuff off me and got back in these streets because we're in the middle of an invasion this is not a game y'all like if we don't get if we don't get this together in real life in the next four weeks at this election because we got four weeks the election is four weeks from today if we don't get this together in four weeks, I promise y'all we're not going to have a country no more. It's not going to be us hanging out, sitting on YouTube. No, ma'am. It's going to be people trying to break in your house. It's going to be food shortages. You might be outside in your car. Um, Miss Jessica, she has a house. Well, I'm saying you might be outside in your car because that's where you live in at. OK, um, your children will be sick at school because they're going to allow more children who are unvaccinated into their classrooms and giving them measles, mumps, rubella and meningitis. It happened right up here in the city of Chicago. This is not a game, y'all. Everybody who's saying, oh, we don't want to vote for Trump. He is me, me, me. Uh -uh. Hold your nose and think about your grandma and and vote for Trump. Because our people worked hard in this country, not not just a little work, hard work, chopping cotton, adding to the U.S. tax base. And now they're giving away all of our legacy, all of our tax receipts, all of our energy to people who don't deserve it. If you love yourself, vote America first because you're an American. And with that, I want to thank you, ladies. I definitely want to have you come back on. Um, and listen, like we definitely want to do the housing, um, record, we're going to record with the judge for the, the housing conversation and that discussion. I just have to get with his, um, everyone's, you know, day and time and stuff like that. But I, I am going to invite you ladies back on and, um, cause this is a great conversation and very informative. So I really appreciate you taking the time out tonight. And I will definitely speak to you guys soon. So appreciate y'all. Love y'all to pieces. Thank you, Dana. Dana, we got him. Dana, with the data.